Welcome back to another video, it's another defeat and it's another game that we should have won, a 1-0 defeat to Barrow. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below um, and, your, and your player ratings um, in, the community to, in the community tab or in the comments down below. I mean, there's no point in doing them, you might as well just give everyone, um, I'm changing it to 1 out of 5 as well, because before it didn't really make sense, so really everyone deserves what, a, a, a two or a three? Um, I don't really agree with ones like I don't agree with booing, but yeah, poor performance from start to finish. There's three key points, I think, to, to, to the game. The first point being we can't beat teams at home. Second point, we can't beat teams who sit in deep and make it hard for us to play our game. You know, we, we, we couldn't game behind them um, and we just couldn't break them down. We needed to be patient, but then. Um, I mean, we are the most patient of fans, but the players need to be patient to try and carve out an opportunity. But, it, I mean, that comes into the debate of you can't really play that football in League 2, and maybe, maybe you can't, maybe we didn't have the players to play it, but we were too predictable. And then the third point being, we, we can't adapt. You know, Mark Hughes, or whoever you want to blame it on, we can't adapt. You know, Hughes is stubborn. You should have made different changes. One thing I noticed as well, I don't know if you noticed it, we didn't have anyone warming up, um, especially after the 60th minute. I, I think we brought on um, Allardy for Banks, and I can't remember if anyone was warming up before then, but I kept looking and there was no one warming up. He brought Oliver on without warming up, um, and obviously Issa came off after being injured and were having a terrible game, um, and I thought it was crap Tuesday. I thought it was really poor Tuesday. Came off the bench and did not take his chance at all. But I thought, is he injured? And I thought maybe in, uh, maybe he just had an off game. And then at the start of this game again, you know, he was coming deep, trying to get on the ball and link up. But that should have been what Andy Cook were doing. He should have been on the last man because he's the quickest player out of the two, quite clearly. And he's, he's one of the quickest players in the league. I so he, he's, he's rapid when he gets running. Um, but he, he didn't offer that option and then I think Clayton played it in behind him once and he, do, he just didn't look like he had the pace to get in behind and then he pulled up and I thought he, 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 I thought he was injured anyway before that because he, won't, he, he, just didn't, he didn't look sharp enough um, so I, I don't know if he were carrying an injury without telling because of his injury record and he's probably out of contract at the end of the season I'm not sure but I'd, I'd guess where he would be so he's probably not told if, if he is injured and he's pulled up because he had to and it looked like it was his hamstring again. So Issa, Derbyshire both injured. We knew Issa would be injured at some point. We knew it couldn't go on for much longer because he's made out of breadsticks. You know, it snaps in half all the time. It, 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 he's, he's put it... I don't like saying this, I don't like blaming injured players, but he's useless because he's always injured. Um, and it's not like it's always because he gets injured in a tackle, it's his legs. Um, so I do feel sorry for him, but at the same time, um, we can't have. We, we, we're going for promotion and we, we have players on the books who are injured. Um, I think our recruitment's been a lot better under Stephen Gent, um, but at the same time, we need to be getting these players out the door who are constantly injured. Leanne Gold's gone, um, although he was quite injury free. We brought in some stubs over. He's said that he's been fit all season and been picked. And to be honest with you, I think I know why. He's not good enough. I said on Tuesday, after seeing loads of praise from him on, on social media, that um, you know he got loads of praise, especially from Exeter fans. But I, I don't see what's special about him. The only thing I can think of, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Exeter play three at the back. I think they definitely did under Matt Taylor. I don't know if they do now under Gary Coldwell, but... If if they do, then that probably suits him more, like it suits Timmy Odessina more, because he ain't quick enough. He's too slow on the ball, um, and I, I, he was at fault for for the goal as well as Clayton and the midfield for three for not coming to get the ball. The front two for not moving and creating ones in behind. We don't move enough. We're too static, and like I say earlier, we we can't break down a team that sits in deep. There's no plan B. The plan B was seventieth minute, seventy fifth minute. Sorry. Oliver go, go up top and we'll just go direct. I mean, that's not a game plan, is it? That That's not adapting to the game. That's just saying, get the big lag on and we'll see if we can win a second ball, which we couldn't because they had, you know, three big centre-halves in, you know, Canavan, who's, who's a fridge. Um, obviously, it didn't suit the way we play, um, but it'll suit a team like Bauer who, who come to Valley Parade and sit in deep. 
So uh, I, I think they're the, the key points. Our home form will, will destroy us at the end of the season. You know, it's tragic for the fan base we have, for the stadium we have, for the noise we create and the atmosphere. Um, you know, for for everything we are, we 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 we're terrible at home, and we have been since was it the sixteen seventeen season under McCall where we we didn't lose for for a year. I think it was that. Seasoned Parkinson, I think the collided and we didn't lose for a year at home or something like that. Um, so we've got to improve at home. We've got to improve in adapting. And Mark Hughes has to be stopped being stubborn. Because um, first half of season four two three one didn't change from that. It maybe went four four two once with Oliver and Cook. I'm not four four two brigade. I'm not get it get get it up top brigade. But what is the solution? Because the solution. I, I don't know what it is, it's not my job to know what the solution is obviously. Um, everyone knows the problem but no one really says the solution. Um, but obviously we've had loads of managers, we've had different type of managers. Um, I think Mark Hughes is the right manager for us and I don't think there needs to be an overreaction but obviously Mark Hughes pretty possession based, 77% uh, possession, no shots on target. Um, after dominating the ball against Tramia and letting them have no shots on target it came from one mistake, really. Um, you know, Cl Clayton didn't have any options like most of the game. The midfield were lifeless. No, no movement in the midfield three. Um, you, you know, Walker, Clayton, and Smallwood. I thought East were perfect to play in that midfield four. Um, you know, left footed gives a bit of balance. He, he is a good tackler and he's very good on the ball and he wants the ball and he wants to take the ball and play the ball forward. Unlike Smallwood, who don't want to play the ball forward, well, he probably does, but he can't. He ain't got the ability to, so he plays the easy pass, and that's what we kept seeing. Ball went wide to Halliday after them defending pretty well, to be fair. Forcing us wide to Halliday and wide out. There's no players in front of them, um, you know, to support them because they're not wing. They're not wing backs. They're full backs. They're defensive, uh, right back and left back. They can't go past someone. They're not good at crossing, so they go back to Stubbs and Platt, and then it goes back to Lewis and. There were no progression because they defended well, but we made it easy for them because we didn't adapt. Um, second half, we put Costello and Banks out out on the wing, but really they, they were too narrow. Um, they, they weren't a game plan that second half, I didn't think. I, I thought it would keep passing the ball and put two players relatively wide and uh, and, and bring Allardy off for Gilead. I thought Allardy were having a bad game, but I thought it was a weird decision to bring him off. Um, so hopefully his man management skills came out there, Mark Hughes, and hopefully he told him why and give a good reason for it. Um, but no accountability or responsibility in that in that team, I didn't think. Um, but like I say, it just looked lifeless. No one stepped up and said, "I I, I want the ball. I want to you know drift in space. I want to take someone on." Um, we we missed a bit of magic in that game and we we were poor all the way through out of, of it. So uh, let me know your thoughts on it. Um, but the solution probably is just to be a bit patient, give Mark Hughes time. Um, you know, managers come and go in February all the time, and obviously we we were on a pretty decent run. And the the worrying thing is how what what's the response now to Doncaster away? Massive game, four thousand fans. Are we going to crumble like we do at home, um, with 4,000 fans and the flag going as well? Or are we going to step up and turn that game into a win? Um, because if we drew today and drew at Doncaster, that's two points. Whereas if we win against Doncaster, three points, and obviously that's better than two doors. Maybe not confidence-wise, confidence but it is. Um, so, yeah, I, I think, obviously, stability is what we need. I know a lot of fans are questioning stability, but... I can't tell you how many managers we've had since Stuart McCall the second time, but it, it, it's it's unbelievable. Obviously, we had Grayson, quite direct um, and, and defensive. That didn't really work, we, we, although he didn't have much time because, obviously, um, he called out Rahik. Then we got Collins in, possession-based and inexperienced. Hopkin, direct, d defensive, you know, no real plan to... How we were playing. Then we brought in Bowyer, direct. Then we brought in, um, and then it was McCall again, locked down, and we were poor under McCall. I think we nearly went down. Then we brought in Truman and Sellers, they were inexperienced and weren't really good enough. Um, Adams, again, less said the better. And then Mark Hughes, now possession based. But we've had so many managers over that time. We just need stability, we need patience, and we need to, you know, back, back them. Obviously, that performance wasn't good enough. Um, uh, and, and I can't really explain it, but 
um, yeah, we, we were poor today and we, we, we've got to adapt, you know, in games like that. And we, we, we're too predictable as well. To, that's the blueprint to play against Bradford City at Valley Parade, sitting deep um, and, and take a chance. Like I say, we, we had 78% possession, 10 shots, none on target, which ain't good enough, 687 passes to their 204 and 85% pass accuracy, so it wasn't the passing that was a problem, we just kept passing and too, e too many easy passes. It leaves us 8th in the table uh, with 16 games left. For, we, we are doing a lot better than last season, obviously that goes without saying. Um, and we've progressed up from last season, the players are much better than last season. And what frustrates you the most is you see our players, and that, even how we played today, um, and then you look at Bauer, I mean, for instances, when they went forward, they, they were really poor, and the quality in this squad so good, we just can't break them down. Um, I, 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 there were an instance where, you know, there's too many instances where you see the quality of our team compared to others, um, and, and it shines through that we are a, a decent team on our day, we just need to get get more out of the quality in, in, the, in the squad because when you compare it to other seasons gone by it is a lot better um, but yeah we're on 48 points we are a, a few results have, haven't gone our way I mean Mansfield and Stockport on an unbelievable one Salford uh, three without win um, you, you know Northampton have gone four without win Carlisle are, are bumpy but they've won today so that uh, and, and Stevenage are four without um Four without win, so we've got to bounce back against Doncaster. It'll be a great test of character to see if we can come back um, and, and, and yeah, not rescue our season because that's been a bit melodramatic. But I think, um, yeah, like I say, we, we've got to. We'll see how we do against Doncaster, but it's a massive game. I mean, they're just behind us, aren't they? In tenth, they win, but they're above us, and then panic stations, and then the season could go into meltdown. But it might not. But we have to bounce back against Doncaster. Otherwise, for me, if we lose to Doncaster or draw to Doncaster, probably season over. Um, un unless miracles happen, which it don't with Bradford City, because the joys of sport in Bradford City is nothing ever happens. Um, and we always lose to these teams. We should have beat them. 2 or 3 0, comfortable win against a team that were really, really struggling. I mean, they, they, they were one of the worst teams in the league in terms of the form. And then we go and lose 1 0 and can't break them down. So, into a player ratings, I'm going to be very quick. Um, Harry Lewis, 6, didn't have all to do, um, you know, it wasn't his fault where he conceded. Sent uh, Halliday, 4, I thought the worst performance from him, didn't go forward, when he went forward he kept going back, but I do feel sorry for him, he was still poor, but I do feel sorry for him because there were no support for him, um, he was a bit limited, so 4 for him. Rydell gets a 4 as well, um, no, he gets a 5 because I, I think he produced some better crosses, but still, he's, he's iron wide and it, there's no support for him, but he, he, he was still poor. Platt gets a, gets a five, I thought he was okay, um, you know, he didn't do too much wrong, um, but below average because, again, he, he could have brought the ball out more, he, he could have brought the ball out quicker, he, he, he could have drove out a defence, um, he could have done more, I thought he was poor. Um, Stubbs four, I, I thought he, he was terrible, um, his pace, like I, I mentioned him before so I'm not going into detail but let me know your player ratings and thoughts because you might think I'm completely wrong with some of these but uh, Clayton five, uh, Clayton six actually, I thought he was average, I thought he was okay, again tempo he dictated it, um, he, he's, he's a good passer of the ball but again we needed a bit more zip and I think he could have been better but he, he, he gets a six, he was average, even though some would say what fault for the goal the other three in front of him, you know, that they made it hard for him to, you know, pass and create. Um, so six for him, he was average. Smallwood gets a four. I do like Salts, uh, Smallwood. It wasn't necessarily his fault. He could have been a lot better, but he should have been playing that game at home. Left footed, gives balance, much better on the ball. Wants the ball more. Um, he would have given us a much better balance, like I said. So small, he should have been playing in all on Smallwood, but. He was poor and he could have stepped up. Um, so yeah, four for Smallwood. Um, Gilead, five. I thought he was poor um, on the ball. Especially in the first half, he was terrible. But second half, he, he was a bit better. Um, so he gets to five. Uh, Walker, six. A again, I thought he, he, he was average. He wasn't bad. He wasn't as bad as others. But a again, I, I thought he could have created more uh, with the ball. With, with, with the areas he, he had the ball. 
he could have done more and you know could have created more but he wasn't too bad I, I thought he did get into good areas which is a positive because not many players did um, Andy Cook 6 um, because it's hard for, to judge a striker who didn't get any chances he, he had a couple of half chances but there were no clear cut um, so obviously it's not his fault but he had no service and his work rate were alright so it's 6 for Cook uh, Issa um, gets, gets a 4 I, I thought he was terrible before he got injured and I thought if Hughes didn't bring him off at half time or 60th minute then it's probably helped him because he would have had to have made an excuse you know, to bring him off for, for man management reasons because he would probably will not running him behind, will not give us any options um, and I thought he looked injured before he was injured so yeah, part four for him, he, he was poor again and then uh, Costello came on, you know, five just below average he was okay, you know, he reminds me of Jake Young and we've loaned Jake Young out and Jake Young's our youth player he, he's, a, he's the player we bought to develop and to bring him into a team and we've loaned him out when and we've brought in someone on loan to develop who is exactly like him. Flair, not Flair, um, Raw, you know, Pacey, but Raw and someone who, you know, we, we, we brought in to develop. He, he, he ain't not the player we obviously thought he were going to be but I think his end product's poor. He had a few half chances where he, you know, had a few shots from but he's... Technique looked really poor, um, and you know the the two games he played prior to this, he he were he were a ghost. He he, he did nothing. He he were poor. Whereas Jake Young, our player who we brought in in the summer for an undisclosed uh, undisclosed fee, has come off the bench this season. Has started a few games this season, earlier on, and scored worldies and was raw. But we could develop him, and we've loaned him out to Barrow today. Who obviously he couldn't play. Um, whether it's an attitude problem or not, we should have been getting more out of Jake Young because he's ours. Costello, we've turned to him. Um, you know, maybe we should have brought a Chapman on who maybe could have unlocked more draw doors, but his then product's poor. So yeah, that's my issue on uh, Costello. And then Banks, um, and I'm not going to do all of Oliver because he, he didn't have all to do. But Banks, I thought six. He, he looked promising when he came on. Took a few players on. And looked a bit more of a threat, you know. No one else really posed a bit of a threat um, for for Barrow, so he gets a six. But let me know if you disagree. Obviously, Stubbs got a bit of praise on Tuesday, and I criticised him and criticised him today as well. I thought he was poor, but um, I thought everyone was poor. Um, you know, the people who got the players who got sixes, they should have been better as well. So I think the players have to take accountability and responsibility because they weren't good enough. But also Hughes has to as well. He's, he's got to take some of the blame. He didn't adapt. We were poor, again, we can't beat these teams who are on bad runs of form, and again, we can't break teams down who come to Valley Parade, have a low block, make it hard for us to get in behind them. We posed no threat at all. Easy game for them, they defended well, but it, again, it's a, it's a massive, massive three points dropped, and uh, you know, you've got to be raising eyebrows to that, because we probably won't, we won't go up if we keep performing like that against those type of teams. And it's inconsistency. Yes, you could say, well, we do better against the better teams. And yeah, Tram, Tram you, you could say, ah, they won a bit of a poor one themselves. Um, Stevenage, yeah. Um, but also, we have been battered by Leighton Orient and Northampton this season and Carlisle. Um, so we've struggled against the teams at the top end, um, apart from Stevenage, who have scored six and conceded two to this season by some, you know, I don't know how that's happened. But we've struggled against the top four this season and the bottom teams and that's what keeps happening every season and that's why we've come mid-table so that has to change and we've got to bounce back against Doncaster but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below have a good one